Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. The title of our today's video is How to send automated WhatsApp messages on Jotform submission. So I'm running a business and I'm using Jotform as my form builder application. And I wish that as soon as a new form is submitted in my Jotform, automatically all my leads should receive a WhatsApp message. For this, we are going to create a connection between Jotform and WhatsApp. To create this connection without knowing any coding language, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So in Pabli, we have two concepts of trigger and action. For trigger, we are going to use Jotform and for action, we are using WhatsApp. So if you want to learn this process step by step, Follow me through the screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to learn how to send automated WhatsApp message on Jotform submission. So for this, we are going to create a connection between Jotform and our WhatsApp. To create this connection, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So as you can see that I have opened the landing page of Pabli just by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is so simple. So as soon as you'll open the landing page of Pabli, you will get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you'll get 100 of tasks free every month. But I'm an existing user, so I'm going to click on sign in. And now it is opening all Pabli apps. Over here, you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting two applications that is Jotform and WhatsApp. And now we are going to click on access now. And now it is opening my dashboard and to start with the automation, we are going to click on this button right over here, which is create workflow. And now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder, which is automations. And I want to name my workflow as how to send automated WhatsApp messages on Jotform submissions. And now we are going to click on create. And yes, you can see that it is opening the most important window of our automation, that is our workflow window. This is the most important window because we have trigger and action in this. Trigger means when this happens and action means do this. By this, you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the command. And as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So over here, we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. So now we are going to select our trigger application, that is Jaw form because I want that as soon as the new form is submitted workflow should be triggered for the trigger event we are going to select new response and now you can see that it is giving me a web hook URL. This says, log into your Jotform account, open the form in the form builder, click on settings tab, navigate to integrations tab and search for web hooks. Click on web hooks. So I'll open my Jotform account and as you can see that this is the lead form I've created. So if you want to create a new form, you can open your Jotform account and create a new form. And as soon as you'll create a form, you have to go on settings. And then from the left sidebar, you have to select integrations. And then we are going to search for webhooks over here. So as you can see this webhook, so I'll select this. And now it is asking me to add the URL. So first I'll delete this HTTP and then go to our workflow and copy this URL. And now we are going to paste this URL right over here. After pasting this URL, we are going to click on complete integration. And yes, you can see that we have successfully created an integration between our Jotform and our Pabli's workflow. And now we are going to click on finish. And as you can see a tick over here, this means that our integration is successful. And now we are going on to publish. We'll open this link in a new tab because this is the link all my leads will receive. And we'll do a dummy submission so that Pabli can capture the response. So for the name, we are going to enter demo. For the last name, we are going to enter user. For the phone number, first we are going to enter the country code and the phone number. And then for the email, I'm going to enter the dummy email. And now I'm going to click on submit. And yes, you can see that it is saying your submission has been received. So this means that our submission has been sent to our workflow. So we'll open our workflow and check that if Pabli has captured the response or not. And yes, you can see here are all the details of our submission. Here's the first name, the last name, the email and the phone number and then the country code. This means that our trigger step is successful. And now we are moving on to our action step. So as you know that we want to connect Jotform with our WhatsApp. So to select WhatsApp, we are going to select WhatsApp Cloud API right over here. So 
so I'll search for it and select this and for the action event I am going to select send template message and now we are going to click on connect and as you can see that it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your whatsapp cloud api account with your pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't then you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it will ask you some token phone number id and the whatsapp business account id so for this we'll have to open our meta for developers so we are going to open it and yes, you can see that I've already created an API setup. So if you want to learn this easy API setup, you can definitely check out our YouTube. And over here, you can see temporary access token, the phone number ID and the WhatsApp business account ID. So we'll copy all of these and paste it in our workflow. But you can see that it is saying this token will expire in 23 hours. This means that this is a temporary token. And if you want to generate a permanent token, you can check out our YouTube channel or visit us at forum. So I'm going to copy all these details and paste it in my workflow so i'll copy this paste it in my workflow and yes you can see that i've pasted all these details and now i'm going to click on save and yes you can see that we have successfully connected our whatsapp cloud api account with our pabli's workflow and now it is asking me the template name so for this we are again going to meta for developers and over here you can see to create your own message template click here so we are going to click on this hyperlink And over here, you can see all the templates that I have created. So if you want to create a new template, you can click on create template over here and create a new template. But I'm going to select one from this that is form submitted. So as you can see, the name of the template is form submitted. So I'll open my workflow and select form submitted over here. So as soon as you'll select the template name, Pabli will automatically detect the language code and the template ID. So you don't have to change this. We'll directly move on to the receptant mobile number. So for this, we are going to map the details mapping means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected jot form as a trigger application so we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application i'll open this i'll search for phone number over here and as you can see it is giving me the country code and the phone number so first i'll select the country code and then the phone number and now for the body field one, I'll again show you my template. So I'll open my template. So as you can see that this is my template over here is congratulations. Your form has been submitted successfully and the rest of the message. But you can notice that over here one is in curly brackets. So this means that over here one is a variable and this will change with every new lead form received. So I want that the one should be replaced with the name of my lead. So I'll just map instead of one the name of my lead. So I'll open my workflow and for the body field one, I'm going to map the name of my lead. So I'll search for name and over here you can see the first name and the last name. So first we are going to map the first name, put a space and then the last name. After mapping all the details, I'm going to click on save and send as request. But before clicking on it, I'll just replace the dummy mobile number with my original mobile number so that I can show you the message and the response received. So as you can see that I've replaced the number and now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And yes, you can see message status accepted. This means that it is a positive response. We have received a WhatsApp message. So I'll open my WhatsApp and check that if you have received it or not. And yes, you can see congratulations demo user, your form has been submitted successfully and the same message that we selected in our template. This means that our workflow is successful. So I'll just test the workflow once and this time I'm going to give you a real time example. So we'll open our JOT form, refresh the page. We are going to submit a new lead. For the first name, we are going to write test and for the last name, we are going to use user only. For the phone number. Again, we are going to enter a dummy phone number, which is this. And for the email, I'm going to write test at the rate pabletooths.com. And then we are going to click on submit. And yes, it is saying your submission has been received. This means that our submission has been sent to our workflow. Pabli captured the response and triggered the workflow and then forwarded the WhatsApp message to us. So I'll directly go to my WhatsApp this time. I'm not going to my workflow and clicking on save and send test request. We'll directly open our WhatsApp and check that if you have received the message or not. And yes, you can see a new message with the new name test user has been sent to our WhatsApp again. 
So this means that our workflow is successful. So I'll just summarize the workflow for you once. For a trigger application, we selected Jot form. For a trigger event, we selected new response. Pabli gave us a web book URL. So we connected our Jot form account with our Pabli's workflow just by creating a simple integration. And then we submitted a test response. And over here, you can see the details of that response. And then we moved on to our action step. For our action application, we selected WhatsApp Cloud API. For our action event, we selected send template message. We connected our WhatsApp Cloud API account with our Pabli's workflow and then we selected the template name. Pabli detected the language code and the template ID. We mapped the receptant mobile number and body field one that was the variable of our template. And again, we clicked on save and send test request. And over here, you can see the two responses and the two messages received. So if you have any query related to the workflow or the video, you can directly comment on this video. And for your reference, I'll just clone the workflow and share the workflow link in the description box. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but with the help of Pabli, you can integrate many more applications. So now, if you have any doubts, you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com. If you have any queries, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this website. And if you find our videos helpful, do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.